Hello once again audience and today I have another achievement hunting video and today I'm showing you how the easiest way to get the achievement the collector which if some of you don't know is the achievement where you get her uh, where you buy every gun off the wall in a single zombies game this does work for all of the maps apart from um, Dead Ops Arcade because obviously you can't buy any of the guns off the wall because you only pick them up but anyway so yeah the first thing you want to do it's just to quickly grab the car 98k straight away and you see that gun that I just ran past there, the M1A car, M1A1 carbine you want to buy that next as soon as you have enough basically it's just like as soon as you get enough points to buy it get it straight away plus you, you if if it's just you doing it like if all your mates already have it or they don't or they can't be bothered to get it then yeah, get them to open all the doors for you. All the doors are a thousand, so if you do have an, a load of spare points to get it, get a door, then you might as well. But yeah, the prices of the guns are 200 to get the car straight away, 600 to get the M1A1, 1,200 to get the Thompson, another 1,200 as well to get the, the trend, no, the double barrel. Then up the stairs, I think the bar is 1,200 as well. Then the car, I think that's 1,000. It's the, the car scope, so you do have to buy the cabinet as well to get the car 98k scoped, I'm afraid. And you have to buy grenades as well. So they're 250. Plus you have to buy the trench gun, which is 1,500, and the sawn off, which I think is 1,200 as well. So it is quite a lot of points, but it's not if you keep buying all the guns. So if you buy, do what I do and buy the Thompson straight away, you just use that until you get enough points to buy the saw, the, the double barrel. Use that until somebody either opens the door for you or until you do, buy the bar. Then just spray them all down until you get enough to get the... Well obviously you can just buy grenades when you get up there because they're only 250. Then get your sawn off shotgun. Just keep spraying them out with your bar and your sawn off until you get 1,500. Buy the trench and you've pretty much got it. But yeah, it took us, what, 17 minutes. And that's probably the quickest I've seen in a video. Uh, uh, YouTube videos, but that's just me. If you guys want to do some research yourself, or if you've done it and you did it faster, comment it at the bottom of the video. That would be much appreciated. But anyway, off gameplay for a minute. Um, what was I saying? I was actually I wasn't saying anything. I needed to start saying something. <coughs> oh, achievement hunting videos. Um, I'll be doing another one later on today. So basically, if you've watched this video after the day it comes out, which most of you probably will if you watch it, then it'll probably be already out for you guys. But later on today of the video that I'm doing now, um, I will be recording or taping uh, how to do the Big Bang Theory with James and Matt again and uh, yeah we'll probably have either a quad commentary or um, a triple it'll most likely be a quad commentary though because it'll probably be my Mac my friend my Mac <laughs> my Mac huh? sounds funny wait did I accidentally buy the door there so I can't remember because in the game I was watching and then they all ran down there and then I, I, I'm not sure I think I opened the door by accident if I did hey ho but anyway so yeah I'll be doing um I'll be taping like the how me and my mates do well obviously there is only one way to do it but how long it took us and all that to do um, yeah, the Big Bang Theory which obviously is the hardest achievement to get uh, but close behind that is time travel we'll tell because that's to acquire the focusing stone in Shangri-La and that is very very hard me and my mates tried it the other like a few weeks ago and we it was just virtually impossible so yeah, um, we probably will do a video of how to do that if we do it. If not, I'll probably just put up the failed attempt anyway if we get obscenely close to doing it. Like we did with my other Ensemble cast video, not the one that I've got up. So we did another one. 
but we failed that when we didn't exactly we didn't finish it but we were only two steps away from finishing it so yeah uh the, i'd say the easiest maps to do um the collector has got to be either this one or another really really easy one it would probably be kino because there aren't many guns so if you look at kino you've got the what uh actually you've got quite a lot of guns in kino you've got the mpl the Olympia, the M14, the M16, the AK74U, the uh, what's it, the MPL. Um, you do have quite a lot of guns in Kino actually, so the easiest map to do it on would definitely be Natchitoches and Totem, which is the one we're on now, because you got the Car 98 AK, uh, the M1A1, double barrel, grenades. Sorry, let me start again because I lost count. Right, Thompson. M1A1, car, grenades, double barrel, bar, sawn off shotgun, and the trench gun. So that's what? That's only seven guns you have to actually. No, that's eight, sorry. So yeah, eight, uh, seven guns basically, and then one set of grenades, and you've got the achievement. It is really easy. Like when I heard it, uh, when I first saw it, we were in Ascension, and I was like, damn, this is going to be impossible, especially if you're on a massive map because if the guns are all spread out if you do try to do this achievement and you've got a crawl or something you're trying to do it it's going to take a while because you've got to run around the map first and find them all if you don't know where they all are so see, the easiest place to do it on, the easiest map to do it on is Natchitoches and Totem because you pretty much know where they all are and it is really really simple to do I don't know why I started doing that, I got bored but you all know Oh no, I didn't open the door. So yeah, once you open that, run straight down here. Either do what my friend's doing by the um, the double barrel, or by the Thompson straight away. And don't start using the Thompson, because there's no point. Because if you have M1A1 ammo, you might as well just finish off using that. Then whack out your Thompson, rack up enough points to get the double barrel, and then just like truly kill everything. So yeah, here I was close, I was just like, randomly spraying over there to hopefully get some kills with the insta-kill. And I worked out, I ran out of ammo, then I was just randomly spraying to try and get kills, I was like, SPRAY! Yeah, I couldn't find any, and then I, and then I was like, oh yes, kills, 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 point haggles. Right, so then, once you've got enough points, grab the double barrel. And then you are ready to kick some ass until a friend or you doesn't matter really it doesn't really matter who opens the top. Then you've just got to buy the last set of guns, and then you are done. So yeah, 17 minutes of commentary. Jesus, how am I going to survive? Oh, I did like <laughs> I did when I did my 19 minute one. That was ages ago. God. So yeah, if you can try and do it on your own like online because it's a whole lot easier because there's like there the is it, if it's just you doing it then it'll be so much easier because then you got all the other guys that'll be opening the doors and that so you don't have to worry about that but if you're doing it with a load of mates or something it's kind of annoying it's if they expect you to open the doors as well as do the achievement while they're doing the achievement as well but you know me and my mates, we we don't like to do achievements singularly. Like, if I'm doing the collector, they'll want to do it as well. Like I was here, and they were all like, "Hey, I want to do the collector." It's like, well, I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah. So, are we hopefully putting up a vlog soon? Hopefully. So, like, I can. Yeah, because I haven't put one up in ages. And you don't know. You don't know how it is. So, yeah, I've already got like two singular clips. Like I said in my last video, I've already got two singular clips of videos or like mini vlogs that I've put together. So, I need to put another one on, and then that'll be the biggest vlog ever. Or the longest vlog ever. Well, that I've done anyway. Well, uh, you know, you'll not, or not. That sounds retarded. 
but yeah, it, when if a friend opens a door, the easiest thing to do is if you have enough points, obviously buy the car and the um, the bar straight away. But if you don't, just buy the car first because it is the crappiest of all of the guns. So you're better off buying it and getting it out of the way so you can just like mow everything down with uh, with your bar. So yeah, what did I do? Yeah, I bought. No, I didn't. I went to buy the bar. And I thought, screw it, and I, and I was just showing my mate where all the guns were, and then I bought that terrible piece of shit. But yeah, don't do what I just did there, and get rid of your best gun. You want to keep your Thompson. I know, yeah, there you go, yeah, so I had to waste all my nades first. Because I had, like, four grenades, and then I had to go, and then I had to buy another set, and then I'd actually done it. So you need to buy four nades as well as the, um, the guns. That's just scooping them out from long range but the car is actually a suckish pile of crap it sucks it really does I mean, look at the reload speed it's just terrible but yeah if you get bored of using it pull out your Thompson or in my case the double barrel and just spray them down a bit but if they're like that and they're all in massive groups, then just fire and you're bound to hit two or three. So instead of just getting the ten points, you can be getting like thirty odd points or fifty, depending on how many of them are in a row. So if there's like seven of them in a row and you have double points, it's 140 points easy. And plus then, as well as um, yeah, plus then if you get the um. Jesus. Yeah, if you get uh, double points and you get Carpenter or something, that's another double, however many that is. Or oh, whatever. So, you know. So, as like I said the other day, um, some of the achievement hunting videos like this one I'll be doing on my own if it's just really simple ones like the Collector or campaign ones like the Russian Barbecue, I might do that. It's just I really don't like that mission on Black Ops. Well, which one is it? Which one is it? Oh yes, yeah, the one we've got to steal the helicopter and escape from all those rushing guys. Yeah, I really don't like that mission. So I might do it. I might not do it. It all depends, really. But um, yeah, I'll um. I'll be doing the Big Bang Theory one later on. I'll uh, record that for you guys, and then me, yeah, me, Matt, and James will probably put commentary over that. If not, well, yeah, well, we will, but there might be another person with us at the time. Sorry, hold on. I thought I could hear my dear, hi, oh, my doorbell going off. I was about to cry, but we're all good. We are good. But yeah, you, you don't want what just happened there. You don't want all your friends camping out there because if they go down and you're left and you've got all these crappy guns that you've bought off the wall, you're bound to die because if they all have like FN fouls and stuff or ray guns, I know, what, why the hell did I use FN fouls? If they've got HKs and all that and if one of them's got a thunder gun and he goes down, you're just there with your double barrel, your bar and your Thompson like, and you're just a bit like, well, I'm fucked. So, yeah, if you want to, get a box every now and again, but you have to keep track of which guns you've bought, and if you do get a double barrel or something out of the box, it does not count towards, say, like, you buy the box and you get, I think you can get the car in the box. I think you can, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. so you want to be careful with that. Because if you do get a car 98k in the box or get a certain gun that you can get on the walls as well as the box, I don't think there is any actually. But yeah, anyway, it will take a while to get your points back up if you're doing what I'm doing and just buying them all straight away. Or if you actually like strategized it and like rack up masses of points, then buy then buy as many of the guns as you can. And that's actually pretty smart. 
if you're just doing it the way I'm doing it and getting it over and done with then yeah just do that but yeah so about two odd minutes left so I must buy the I'm obvious I guess I buy the trench gun pretty soon but do you all know so yeah once you've got your bar out and you've got your sawn off just go mad on everyone hopefully you get double points or some nukes or stuff to get your points up you want to get near the front so you're the one that's sort of like nicking all the points there see there you go I've got enough points now I think I can't really tell because my screen's kind of small when I'm recording so yeah once you've got enough points either wait till the end of the round or just do what I do and have you have a reason to go out there just run out there like go truly mental literally loop, go crazy, run out there, try and revive a teammate or like get a friend to throw a monkey or something and then just sprint at a hundred miles an hour as I, I, I said to myself, oh sorry mate I gotta leave you quickly quickly kill them, buy my trench gun and then wait for it, there you go so 20 game score, the collector it's really that easy. It took us what seven, no, about sixteen minutes and twenty seconds to do it. So yeah, if you're like way more hardcore than us, lot you should be able to do it in less than that. So yeah, um, if you guys try it and you get it, tell me your times and uh, yeah, you know. So yeah, that's the end of it for you. I will be doing the Big Bang Theory later on. And I'll hopefully record that if we succeed. Well, we should do anyway. But, um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Do all the awesome things you normally do. And I will see you guys in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe. And continue being awesome.